everybody and welcome to a brand new week, the home dumbbell training series this week. For the next, so the next sort of two weeks, we're going to bring you three workouts a week, all involving a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So as usual, we've got myself, John and Ollie here. Hello. You see we're both uh, wearing a headband now, our, our hair is literally out of control. Come on Boris, bring back the hairdressers, please. Please. Right. Let's do this guys. So like I said, all you need is one dumbbell for this workout. And that's it, it'll last about 15, 20 minutes. Let's do this. Right, we're gonna do a warm up first. What we're gonna do first is 11 dip with arms overhead. So what we're gonna do is place his feet against the wall, his legs 90 degrees. He's gonna draw his heels into the floor. He's gonna pin his hips on the floor by a turn. He's gonna reach out long through his arms, take his arms back overhead, just about there. And now from there, he's going to bang out five good reps. Absolutely reaching along through his arms. You want to hit, you want to keep that rib cage down all the way through. So five good reps. In for the nose, a full exhale via the mouth, keep that rib cage down all the way through. Keep that tailbone off the floor, do those hamstrings working as well. We've done five of those. We're going to go into a cat cam body. So you're going to go on all fours, knees below hips, wrists below shoulders. You're going to exhale and bring your belly button away from the floor, it rounds you off. Then you can inhale and drive the chest up, the belly button up towards the floor. And you're sort of going to do five of those now, right? Five of those now. Inhale. Exhale, you round off. Inhale, you bring your chest up, five of those. So we're sort of then mobilising that lower back. From there we're going to egg rocking. So five egg rocks. So sit in the bum, bring your knees to your chest, toes up. Inhale all the way back, exhale to the back. Come on, let's get the chest up. Can we get it up? There we go, that's more like it. Is that belly in the way, mate? That's it, mate. The, 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 the weekend belly. The weekend, the weekend belly. So five of those, guys. So inhale, rock back, exhale to come up, leg lowering. So lay back on the both legs straight, toes up. You're going to exhale and lower on one leg, okay? We're going to do five on one side and then five on the other. Count back flat. And that rib cage down all the way throughout. So those hands, palms down, get yeah, chin tucked. Here we get a nice stretch in the calves, hamstrings, and also working on abs to control that pelvis. So five of those. From there, we're going to go into a down dog, into a spine. So it's that push in position. We're going to go down dog. So you're going to drop the hips, twice the right hips to the floor, go back into that push position, push up, and give your spine up with rotation. Nice. With the spinal rotation, you're going to bring that foot out to the hand, and you have the heel range flat, and you open it up, okay? So we're going to five in total. Five down dogs, into that spider man stretch and rotation each side. So a big, again, stretch through the calves, hamstrings, into the lower back, getting some upward rotation, the shoulder base, keep them nice and healthy, also driving some thoracic mobility and some hip mobility at the same time. So a big, Big bang for your butt mobility exercise. Have you got one in? Last one, mate. One of the power then. Once you've done that, we're going to pull back to butt kick. So, heel to butt. So, what you're going to do is grab holy laces, bring your knees together, bring your knee past the other knee, and release and change sides. Guys, if you can't grab your laces, just grab hold of your shin, that's okay, okay? So, knees together first, put it back past the knee, let them release. Five of those each side. So now we're stretching those quads a bit more, working some single leg stability as well at the same time as well. Cool. Once you've done five of those, we're going to go to a single leg RDL with a cross connect. That body. So we can go through your whole foot, sit and reach long that back heel, bring your elbows and knee. Five on one side, five on the other. So we do this, getting long for that heel, bring your hand across your body. Keep that toe facing down, also ensuring that leg remains straight as well. So that knee is not caving into the middle. We don't want that either. Hell no! Where are you going, Ollie? Don't you show yourself up, mate. You had the weekend off. Doesn't mean you should be uh, showing yourself up that, mate, alright? Tough, tough. Man. Drill master, drill master. And then finally, we're going to do a reverse lunge with our elbows and knee, okay? So you're going to see profile going on. So you're going to step back, bring your elbows to your knee, push it away, finish tall. Good. Repeat, do five on one side, five on the other. 
Inhale, you come down, echo, you push the floor away, try and bring out the knee to the elbow. Make sure you're not overstriding either, okay? So five on one side, five on the other. Just like a pro, just like a pro. Right, you are wobbly. Two meter kids. I've got content on the front on Thursday. Thursday? Saturday. You're still suffering now? No, no, fine. Right. How are you going to go up? Huh? How are you going to go up? Got you. Have you? Yeah. Peter Gliders. Now you're Right, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to do single leg line hops for five seconds. We're going to go side to side, okay? Switch on a little bit more here. So we're going to left leg, ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Now repeat right leg. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a little breather. So remember for this, measure the ground is hot, keep nice and tight, keep the ball to your feet. Ready again, one more time. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. And right side, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Very well done, Ollie. Well done, mate. Right, let's go to our first superset. So we're going to grab our dumbbell or kettlebell. Ollie's from big here for the 10. Twelve. Oh, sorry, Twelve. Twelve. Sorry, mate. That's a mistake. Right. That is respectable. <laughs> so, guys, you might have all, obviously, might have, only have access to a lightweight home. If you, if you do find it too easy, one well, of the best ways to do, make it harder is basically slowing, sorry, slowing down the lowering phase. So, you can so you, in a squat and you send down, going down for like anywhere from three to five seconds. So, Ollie, Ollie's a, Ollie's a, of the uh, strong lap. Do your favour, by the way. Yeah, the gun to them. We're going to lower it down for three seconds. You're going to hold the two at the bottom and then push out. <laughs> in, right. Inside of that, isn't it? We're going to do 10 reps. Down three, hold the two, push. We're going to do 10 squats into 10 squat jumps. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. So we're just, when I'm just squatting, his feet are shoulders apart, his toes are flared out a little bit, his soft knees. He sits down into the squat, feeling his whole foot, and he pushes the floor as he finishes the tool. Be sure when he squats, his knees are going over toes, but he's still keeping his heel contact, okay? When you hold the dumbbell, okay? You want to hold the dumbbell into your chest, but you want to reach long for his elbows a little bit. So you don't want those shoulders to be pinned back, okay? You want his elbows to be out front, that gives you a little bit of space in between your upper back, that allows you to sit down better. So hold two, one, two, push, good on it. Sit, three, two, one, two, one, push. How's that, mate? Let's count. Is it two more? Three, two, one, two, one, push. Go, three, two, one, two, one, push. Nice squat. Right, squat jumps. Get out of the way. Yeah. So guys, we're going to do 10 explosive squat jumps. So with this, you're going to pause in between each one to be powerful, okay? So ready, Ollie? Ten. Go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, front here, ready? Yeah. Let's take it. Good, go again. To stick each landing, okay? I want each, one, each squat jump to be explosive and powerful, okay? Good. Use your arms, push. Nice, Ollie. Woo! Oh, the head I'll tell you, mate. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you never thought you were heading that way, did you? <laughs> Ten, mate. Try and land the same spot, okay? Nice, Ollie. Three throws, arms up in the air. Well done, good job. How's that? How's that? How's that, mate? Well done. That's a good job, you're going to buy that. There it is, mate. There it is. So when you guide me in the squat, the same principle applies as when you're squatting, okay? So the feet, you need to shun to the part, you're sitting down, not back. Really propel his arm up in the air, stick that landing, pause, repeat, okay? You want to be explosive. Right, here we go again, round two. So we just had a 30 to 6 second rest. We're going to go into round two. Ollie, let's see our face. Here we go. Smile the camera. Let's do this 10 reps. Get your chest up. So you want to see, if you're looking in the mirror, you want to see that chest in the mirror. You don't want to see that chest facing towards the floor. Guys, if you feel, if you, if you uh, I'm sorry, let me do the words up here. I have a coffee, that's what it is. So guys, if you feel like you can't do anything but have a chest face the floor, chances are that you need to be elevating your ankles 
yeah, elevate the heel, sorry. So go ahead, grab, grab some books, about two inches high, two, two inch thick books, elevate those heels, and that should help you get your chest up and you sit down into that squat better if you struggle to get your chest up. Nice, Ollie. Make sure you want to keep that, that whole foot again. You feel you can keep your chest up, but you're going onto your toes again. Go ahead, go ahead and elevate those heels. And we're going down for three, up for the two, and push. Nice, Ollie. Let's go face forward. Here goes the swap jumps. Ready? See my face jumps. One, three, one, see those face jumps. Oh, that's getting face in your way, my good. Right. Good, Ollie. Nice. Push. Good. Stick it. Go. Score, Ollie. Good effort. Two more. One more, pal. Push. Out of those fives. I feel like I hate it. Four more right in head. Look, mate. That's No sense, no feeling. We all know, right? <laughs> hey. No sense, no feeling. If he bangs his head, he wouldn't know. <laughs> Well done, well done, well done. So you guys, if you have a heavy weight and you're struggling with that sort of tempo, just go into a standard, te standard tempo. So two seconds down, push out to the bottom, okay? So again, depending on the challenge, on how heavy that weight is, you can either play around with reps or the tempo, okay? Right, final set, Ollie. Let's finish strong. Where's the bangers gone? <laughs> the bangers are stopped. The bangers are Sing as a song. Right, man, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, no, I can't really bang if it stops. So now, now we're going to hear you grunt. Hey? My phone's on the thing now. You're sorry? My phone's on. It's fine. I'm just going to see if I'm fine. Well, if I don't need your code. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite so bad. We'll sort out of a second. We'll sort of out of a second, guys. Because I, I, I struggle to be able to um, coach them in a quiet environment. I need to be a bit, it needs a bit of energy. But you know what, I can sing a song. What song should we sing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I ain't gonna put you through it. Let me tell you, hands up. Ten, why don't we? Finish on the squat jumps, Remember the squat jumps, feet shoulders apart. Brief throws, arms up, jump as high as you can. Imagine you're on a head of ball, maybe something that gives some sort of thing to aim for. Nice. Good on you. Push, good. And really draw it floor away. Nice. Good, pal. Good job. What is that? Ten. Ten. Bosh. Right, guys, here we go. We lost music, so you're going to have to put up with, put <laughs> with uh, Ollie's, news, uh, Ollie's sorry, noises instead here. So you're quite humorous. <laughs> right, guys, third set here. Sorry, second set. Three exercises. We're going to do a single reverse lunge to single support followed by a half kneeling shoulder press, followed by a reverse crunch. Okay, so we've got our weight. Go up on the same way, Ollie. Same way, mate. Oh, he's getting the pad out. Getting the pad out for his soft knees. So here we go. So with this, we're going to hold out the dumbbell actually down by the side, actually. We're going to hold down the side in the opposite leg. So whatever leg can go back first, that's the side that you're going to hold the weight in, okay? So 10 reps. So we're going to reverse lunge back. And then come up and hold there for a second, okay? So I go back this thing? You do that, yeah. And here. And then hold it. Yeah. That's it. So we're going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. We're going to go through, we're just going to do. <laughs> I didn't spot that. So obviously the challenge here with this is we'll be holding the weight down by the side. Obviously the weight's been, is pulling you down here. So you abs have to work really, really hard here to keep you stable, as well as going on some one leg as well, right? So a lot of challenge on the core here, as well as working obviously the thigh and the quad. So we're doing 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Always in a bit of a rush today, so what we're gonna do is only go shoot through two sets there, but it's ordinarily we do three sets, but Ollie is fortunate to play the trump card here, and he's got a patient, patient coming in here shortly. So Ollie's doing a great job there, not overstriding with his reverse lunge, it's that post leg, the down leg, and I want to stretch the ankle, hip, knee, and shoulder, sorry, shoulder and head, all in line, that down, that down leg. Good, we're still now, we're going to drop to one knee. We'll go profile again, okay? So, I'm going to go, face, middle right? Mm -hmm. So, you're going to go right knee down, 
So with the right knee down, he's going to hold away his right hand. He's now going to place his hand in his rib cage. He's now going to do 10 shoulder presses. So all he's here is a half knee position here. He does it. So his knee, so his 90 degree angle with his front leg, a 90 degree angle with his back, pardon me, back leg. His toes dug into the ground. His knee, hip, shoulder, the back of the head is all in line. He's placed his hand in his rib cage to get a rib cage down as he presses overhead. So we don't want to see any sort of rib flare as you push overhead, okay? And he switches sides, he exhales get his, to get his ribs down, and he reaches long at the top, trying to bring his upper arm to his ear, without any sort of tilting of the head, okay? So 10 of those. Reaches long at the top. Good, Ollie. Strong power. Whoa! He used to do this all over the place. How many cocktails did you have on Saturday? <laughs> Right, and now we're going to go into a reverse lunge. So Ollie's got a reasonable weight, so basically we're going to weight him down. So if, you, if, you, if the weight is too light, then grab hold of something stable, like uh, some banisters or something that's weighted, a weight that's weighted down. So what we're going to do here is a reverse crunch. So Ollie's going to hold, his weight, hold the weight in his arms, keep the weight down. He's going to bring his knees up, his toes up. So you feel for a minute. He's going to exhale, get a rib cage down. Do you want to maintain that rib case down, get him away for out, and bring his elbows, sorry, his knees, up to his elbows, and then come down again to about there. So you're going to make, make sure that rib cage remains down all the way throughout as he reverses crunches. So he's pulling his hips up off the floor and bringing his knees to his elbows with his toes facing up still. That's why, guys, if, you, if it's quite, that's where your knees sink firm, that's going to weight you down. Because because if you, you struggle with this, you would, it, uh, sorry, the easier it is, the more weight you have on the floor or the more stable that post is that you're holding. And as you get better at it, then you can take that weight away and use your hand, put your hands down by the side. How's that, mate? Good. Good. Let's go round two then, mate. Yeah. Round two, pal. So have a quick sort of 30 seconds for a minute break, break again, and we're going to round two. So a reverse lunge again, hold that weight in the leg that's standing, that stepping back. Where are you going to face on now? You want to hear some huffing and puffing on him. And that cheeky smile as well. So I did a great job there, seeing the alignment as well. So that post leg, legs from the floor. He's got a good lot of his ankle, knee, hip and shoulder. As he comes up through, keep that toe pulled up, pulled up as well. He's not over striding. Keep his shoulders square with us as well, all the way throughout. Nice, Ollie. Remember, your legs already be feeling fatigued from the squats and squat jumps that you did from the previous exercises, so it will be challenging. Let's go, let's go, let's go, perfect. So I did a great job there, again, I'm not overstriding. So what I mean by that is when he steps back with that left leg, his knee is, not like that, absolutely, yeah. His knee is directly below his hip. So his knee is not far behind, his, you don't want your back knee Come in behind your hips. What that does there is basically stretches the front part of your hip capsule. That's a big hell no. Ten power, yeah? How many is that? Nine. Nine, good man, like a pro. Dad, we're just counting here. <laughs> we'll go face on with a half knee shot wrestle, right? I do want to face on. Okay, cool. So we're going to that 90 90 position again. So 90 degree front leg, 90 degree back leg, keep that, keep that whole foot out front side, knee, hip, shoulder all in line, hand on the rib cage, secure the rib cage down, reach out long overhead, inhale as you come down, exhale as you reach long at the top. That's if you want to tie your breath work into it. Good on you. Reach long at the top. You regret to get that 12 and a half hour, don't you? So when, when it's set up as well, we want that nice square set as well. So his foot is not is in line with his shoulder, sorry, and his hip. So that right leg there, we've got ankle, knee, shoulder line as well. So his leg is not out, turned out to the side, it's not too into the centre either. It's nice and square, so his hips are square and his shoulders are square. Feel it. Reaching on at the top, strong power. Well done. And then we're going to finish that reverse crunch. So put the weight on the floor, or grab, get hold that stable fixing. Grab your hands around it, bring his knees up, pull his toes up, exhale, get our rib cage down. Now bring those knee, bring those hips off the floor, bring his knees to the elbows and, and back down again. Ensuring 
those knees ain't dropping past those hips. So you, get, so you basically have constant tension on those abs all the way throughout. So inhale to come up, those knees, exhale to come down, keep his toes up, and keep that back flat, rib cage down, all the way throughout. Good job. Well done. And there you have it. So that completes week one workout one of our home dumbbell training series. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully we'll get music sorted for next time. But I can't listen to my voice on its own. Absolutely not. Me neither. Absolutely not. I can't hear a grunt either. <laughs> great, have a great day guys. Stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.